What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're already subscribed, if you're not subscribed, please consider to subscribe because there's a ton of details for you and this channel is made for you to elevate your game as fast as possible, okay? So my name is Mark Chinoco, Marcel Garcia Black Belt. So I'm here today to show you guys three sneak choke from Mount, okay? So let's jump in. So we're gonna be right here. So this can be one of the most effective choke you can do from Mount. Why? Because I'm bait the person to do the half guard. So for example, I gotta go right into half guard, right into mount. So mount position, sometimes like I have to get, believe it or not, as simple as sounds, the cross choke, super hard to get, okay? So what I like to do from here, very simple, I like to place my first hand in. So I'm gonna make my fist gonna go into the mat. So I'm gonna go right here, boom. Now, what I like to do from here, he knows that I'm gonna go for this choke right here, so he always block. What I'm gonna like to do, I like to place my first hand, keep my weight on this side so he don't bump me that way, and then if I put my left hand, I'm gonna put my left foot right there, so Matt has his leg bent, I'm gonna play my left foot right there, just like here, forcing a half guard. I'll guarantee to you that he's gonna go in and trap my leg. When he trapped my leg, he might like, oh, I'm escaping mount position so yes he is escaping but i'm set up my choke so this is one of the most effective choke you can ever do it and then when he trapped my foot right away so go back and mount go back and mount so i'm here i place my hand and then I place same side my foot and then he baits my foot right there he takes the bait so now he uses his hands to push my knee in when he push my knee in he needs to force to get to the side so he can start facing every time he turned into me I'm gonna go my ribs right here. Now from here, he turns into me. So I lock my block his arm. Now I'm gonna just switch my bait. My rib gonna go around this side. So you guys can see my first hand is really deep. I'll guarantee you guys, you're gonna get every one of this choke. And then from here, I wanna change my rib. I'm gonna hold his belt. And now look how my rib gonna shut down right on the side of his neck. Now what I'm gonna do is, I wanna just keep tight and then the choke is right there. So one side is my rib, the other side is my hands. Now you can use, hold the belt right here and then sprout this side. You can hold here, boom. Now the choke is right there. There's no way he's gonna defend this choke. He tap right there, or you can do it here. You can place your hand as far as possible on his armpit. Now you're gonna just melt right here. So now my weight is on my ribs and my weight is on my far foot and I'm hooking his leg. So now there's no way, try to bridge match or do something and it just get tight and tight and then hit tight. Okay, so it's a very sneak choke and I'll guarantee, please comment in the video, try it out and comment in the video how it works for you because this one is gonna change your mouth scenario, okay? So one more time here, I'm gonna go place my hands, place right there. Make sure you feel his neck. Number one, place the hand. And now I place my foot right there, he goes and take it. Now he's gonna push my knee away. And then why when he turns, that's the time. Whenever, move this way, man. Whenever he turns, so I go. That's the time. So whenever he push my knee in, he need to turn. Whenever he turn, I land it. And then land sideways, and then the choke is right there. It's a really, really good choke for you to get from mount, okay? So let's move into a second choke. Same idea, okay? Same idea, but Mark, what happened the person bring the, uh, 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 the arm over? No, he's not gonna bring, okay? So it goes right here, first hand, same idea. Place my foot, he bait the foot right there. Whenever he pulls, I wanna, he gonna get sideways, and now I'm gonna, instead I'm gonna lean here, I'm gonna go, I want my knee gonna go on the mat, but I don't wanna get my knee on half guard, okay? For this type of choke. I don't wanna get my knee on half guard. I want my knee on like knee slide, round right the front, okay? So whenever he push my knee in, I wanna accept, I wanna change my bait. I wanna change, my weight is here, okay? So he's still turning into me. So what I wanna do here, whenever he turns into me, I don't want these hands in front of me. So how I'm gonna do when he turn? I wanna block here, so my head gets heavy, okay? So now these hands, I wanna just do this here. 
grab, don't grab the lapel, grab the fabric of the shoulder right here, boom. And now my elbow comes in. Now I have a, a clean choke from here. And the choke's right there. So once again, it's about manage the, management than anything else. So from here, I place my hand. I put my foot right there. And now whenever he push the foot, I wanna bring my knee to here. Now my second idea is block the bicep. So he keep turning into me, yes. I block right here, so man, try to bring the arm around. He can't. In the meantime, hands goes right there, elbows in, elbows to elbow, and then lean into the choke. And trust me, this choke comes really quick, okay? The whole concentration is going on his neck, okay? So timing, bring your knee this way. And let's move into the three, uh, the third option, which once again is all related, one, two, three, back to back. If you cannot get the first one, you're gonna get the second one. If you don't get the second one, get the third one, okay? So same idea. Invest in your Jiu-Jitsu today. There is eight amazing instructionals for you to level up. There is three lasso guard instructionals, one for each needs. There is winning double knee position. Everything starts for the knees. There is a half guard plan, how to pass the half guard. There's two amazing close guard, one all about sweeps and one all about submissions. And there is also how to pass the lasso guard. If you want to check it out, go at bjfanatics.com and don't wait. Invest in your jiu-jitsu today. Mount, place my first hands, my weight is on this side. I have to initiate this move with my foot. I have to place right there. But Marcus, you're for, uh, you're for, yeah, I want him to take the bait. I want him to take my foot out. Now, whenever he turn, takes my foot away, he needs to turn into me, and that's the choke part. That's the, the setup. Whenever he push my knee, look, place my knee on the mat. Now when I'm about to go for the choke, before I beat this arm, he blocks. Now can I get a choke? He's holding. So what I'm gonna do here, hold the fabric of the gi, the sleeve. Now you take the weight off, pull. Now I wanna push his arm down, look at my chest. Gonna go right on top. Now, it's very similar to the first one, but with the arm in. I don't wanna go here, I wanna go here, block. Now, I wanna come with my elbow behind his head. Now, get the fabric of the gi, and now just melt right there. And trust me, oh, but it's not, yeah, it's work, work 100%. So, from here, I'm leaning into it, that way. See how, from here, I wanna glue my chest, and pay attention to this arm, detail right here. So I wanna push in, plus my arm. When I set my arm in, the whole weight goes into that. You can even sprout, and the choke is right there. So those are very sneak choke from mouth that I'll guarantee to you that you're gonna get anybody in, okay? So this choke is more a setup, baiting the half guard, then try to go for the cross choke right there from mouth. So this one's actually super easy. If you drill that and if you exercise that in training, you're gonna be a really good at this choke. And trust me, give it a try. And just trust me once, give it a try and let me know because these chokes can change your whole level of mount attack, okay? So thank you so much. And guys, please subscribe the channel if you like the content, okay? Share the videos, give a thumbs up because that's how you support me putting the word out there, give a thumbs up. It's a very, very important to give a, a thumbs up and comment in the video. So thank you so much, I really appreciate it. So give it a try and let me know, thank you.